Howdy, I'm Bob Terry. Here's another episode of the Roy Rogers television show starring Roy Rogers and Dale Evans and Trigger and, and Bullet and Buttermilk and Pat Brady and Nellie Bell. Roy and Dale in every show bring forth pride of country and a respect for others and a devotion to our Creator. These are great shows. Enjoy, because it's brought to you free on the internet by Westerns on the Web, your home for free, classic, family-friendly Western television shows and movies. Here comes Roy. The Roy Rogers Show, starring Roy Rogers, King of the Cowboys, Trigger, his Golden Palomino, and Dale Evans, Queen of the West. With Pat Brady, his comical sidekick, and Roy's wonder dog, Bullet. You take it from that side. and give you some advice. Stay out of Eagle Rock if you want to live. solder pots and pans, furnish the home, compound medicines for man and beast. Save your wind, Doc. We know your spiel by heart. <laughs> guess you do, guess you do. <laughs> oh, what's this? Pointing guns at people? Mm, that's bad, bad. Uh, got trouble, Dale? Nothing we can't handle, Doc. Well, hello there, Myra. What are you doing here? Playing sheriff for your father? Proving to Roy and Dale how bad things are in Eagle Rock. Yep, they aren't a bad fix over there, but on the other hand, they ain't no worse off than other towns I have traveled through. My goodness, trouble riding in from all directions, yes, sir. Roy, it's mighty fine of you folks to give a helping hand to Eagle Rock. Mighty fine. They'd do as much for Mineral City if we needed help. Shame I can't stay around here and do business. I just invented a brand new corn cure that I'd like to try out on somebody. <laughs> well, good luck in Eagle Rock anyhow. Good luck to you, Doc. What was it you were saying about not wanting us to go to Eagle Rock? They knew we were headed there and they tried to stop us. Roy, Dad's right. The law in Eagle Rock is being watched. You won't talk, huh? Well, maybe you'll be a little more talkative when you're behind bars. Get on your horse.
260S calling 260RO. 260S calling 260RO. Come in, 260RO. 260RO answering 260S. 260RO answering 260S. What do you want, Doc? Them two hombres you sent out to follow Myra didn't do so good. Yeah? What happened? Well, Myra went out to Roger's place and talked him into coming back to help her dad. Bradford and Jones tried to stop him. Now Rogers are bringing them both into the sheriff. Okay, I'll handle it. tried to stop Roy from coming to Eagle Rock. So you did it anyhow, did you? I told you not to do it. I told you the law was being washed. And given time, I'd have... Oh, what's the use? What's done is done. All right, you two, get inside. Into the jail with you. Roy, the prisoners are getting away! Don't go, Roy. I've got to talk to you first. Pat, get the doctor. Dad! This is why I didn't want you to go, Myra. I'm sorry, Dad. I didn't know. Listen close, son. I put evidence in envelope. Have Myra get it at post office. Take over, Roy. I appoint you chief deputy. I'll do everything I can, Sam. This is their big day. Things are going to happen. I wish... Good of Folks, I'll help out until the new sheriff's elected. What's wrong, Roy? Oh, anything I can do? No, I guess not, Doc. Help me get him inside, Pat. Hello, Doc. Things are going to be all right now, huh? Mm, they are and they ain't. Alexander got the sheriff, didn't he? Yep, he got him all right, Mr. Hopp. But Roy Rogers has taken over in his place. What? Looks like we've hopped from the frying pan into the fire. I guess we might as well make this legal. According to all Myra said, you're going to have a tough time getting deputies. Oh, I don't think so. Pat, raise your right hand. I'm going to swear you in. Okay, Roy. Huh? Oh, 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 no, no, no. <laughs> Roy, I, I don't want to make Nellie Bell a widow. Well, you'll be all right. You too, Dale. Both of you raise your right hand. Do you swear to uphold and enforce the law of this county to the best of your ability? I do. I do. And by the authority vested in me, I appoint you both deputy sheriffs. All I hope is that all the bad men declare holiday till next election. <laughs> Well, I guess we better search the office and see if we can find any evidence against that gang. Mr. Rogers? My name is Ott. Robert Ott. I'm the publisher of the County Gazette. Hi, Mr. Ott. Dale Evans, Pat Brady. Here you've taken over for the late sheriff. Yes, sir. Well, I just wanted to let you know. Sounds like we've got more trouble, Pat. Take over, Dale. Bullets stay with me. <laughs> You ain't gonna fail me now. Don't you believe me when I tell you I'm a lawman? Do something. Please say something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
heading north. They had the bank records as well as the money. I didn't know whether to follow them or wait for you. Well, you better stay here. Come on, Bullet. We'll go after him. <laughs> Did they go this way, Bullet? Hi, Myra. How are you feeling? Oh, better, Dale. I got the letter that Dad mailed to himself. Maybe we should open this. Roy's gone, and there might be some evidence in here that he could use. Let's see it, huh? All right. Well, this isn't very clear. It's about Byron White, Ralph Mundy, and Robert Ott. Still, Dad says they're all the same man. Well, we know that Robert Ott is the publisher of the newspaper, but White and Monday are the same men that bought property here when the owners were forced to sell out. I never saw them. <laughs> I don't know of anyone who has. And Robert Ott's using the other two names himself. It sounds to me like a confidence game of some kind. Roy ought to know about it. Let's see if we can find Pat. Can't get to it without being seen. certainly cover a lot of territory. Yeah, well, I got friends and customers all over the country. Doc, I have reason to believe the people in that cabin on the other side of the hill are bad hombres. They don't happen to be customers of yours, too, do they? If they are, I thought maybe you might give me a ride down there in your truck. It's about the only way I can get across that flat without being seen. Are you alone? Yeah. You're right, Roy. They are customers of mine. And as you say, they're bad hombres. And customers are no customers. Lawbreakers have You wait here, Doc. I'll hide trigger behind these rocks. All right. Come in. Just run into Rogers on the trail. He wants me to sneak him down to the cabin in the back of my truck. I figure this would be a good way of delivering him to you, practically hand tied. Oh. Here, Here. Take it to Dale, fellow. To Dale. Take it to Dale. Let's go, Doc. I'm ready. Stop the truck. 
truck, Doc. What's the matter, Roy? I said stop it right here. I thought you wanted to go down to the cabin. Cut the act, Doc. This short wave set explains a lot of things, especially how the law's being watched around here. You get around all over the territory, don't you? Why, I, I don't know what you mean, Roy. Yes, you do. And if you want to go on living, you'll talk fast and plenty. Who's behind this? Uh, it, it, it's Robert Ott, the newspaper publisher. Uh, a couple of months ago, a, an item came in over his newswire. Said the government's going to start a big project near Eagle Rock. So that's it. Ott held back the news, didn't print it. Then he started fixing things so folks would sell out to him cheap. He figured he'd clean up on the property. I suppose that cabin ahead is the gang's hideout. Just in case you've warned them, take this message and send it to them word for word as I give it. 2260S calling 26RO. 260S calling 26RO. Come in, 260S. Come in. I was wrong about Rogers being alone. He's got a big posse. They're ready to close in on the cabin. Better put your guns away and make believe you're playing cards. <laughs> Did you hear that sneeze, boys? Then we disregard what Doc said. A sneeze was a signal we set up in case you ever got in trouble with that thing. Get all that stuff out of sight. Guess I'm catching cold. Maybe you're allergic to lawmen. Get this thing started. Rogers over the Shining Door Gold Mine and drop them down the shaft. Better get rid of those bank records, too. soon find out. Well, don't you people knock before you enter? Where's Roy Rogers? How should I know? Let's stop pretending, Mr. Ott. I saw the evidence Sherry Fuller had. Also those two names you've been using to buy property with. Fuller was a crook. Now get out. You're trespassing. I don't see any evidence here, Miss Evans. Someone must have given you a wrong tip. We're sorry. Come on. Roy's been around. It certainly does, or Trigger wouldn't be here looking for him. Well, that ought to convince you. Now what? 
triggers outside. That means Roy Rogers has been here. I tell you, I haven't seen Rogers. Call in CQ. Call in CQ. This is Roy Rogers. I'm in the back of Doc Stevens' traveling store. Oh, well, you don't... Hold it. Why, that was a close one. Good shooting, Pat. William, can you get these two back to town? Yeah, it's not serious. Come on, Pat, let's go find Roy. all this stuff out here, are we? No, oh, we'll send back for it, Pat, as soon as we get this fellow where he belongs. Hey, Dale, you got here just in time. I thought for a minute I was going to have to ride back in this thing. Take care of him, Pat. Come on, We'd be glad to stick around a few more days until after the election, if you think it's necessary. Uh, no thanks, Roy. With Nelson and I as deputies, why, we can take care of everything until a new sheriff is elected. I wonder what's keeping Pat. We're all set. Where's Pat? I don't know. He knew he was to meet us here. Pat Maybe... Brady, traveling store at your service. I cut your kitty's hair, dehorn your cattle, and slaughter your pot. Whatever your ills may be, old Brady will pat you free. <laughs> It seems as though the business has fallen off. <laughs> <laughs>
happy trail to you. Keep smiling until then. Happy trail to you. Till we meet again. Hope you enjoyed the Roy Rogers Television Show. Brought to you free on the internet by Westerns on the Web, your home for free, classic, family-friendly Western television shows and movies. May the good Lord take a liking to you, and we hope to see you again on Down the Trail.